What's happening, guys? Well, today Miss Stacy and I are out in the, well, I guess the Buena Vista area, but what was the name of the little town? Nathrop. Nathrop. <coughs> and we are heading up Chop Creek Road in the San Isabel National Forest. And we are going to, what did it say, one of the best preserved but not restored ghost towns in Colorado. Yeah. And it is called St. Elmo. This morning in Twin Lakes, hurting a little bit from our 138 mile endeavor yesterday. But uh, we got everything packed up and dishes done, and we drove down here uh, because it was just, I don't know, it's probably like 20 some miles of highway, more like 30 miles of highway. <coughs> that it would be much easier for us to skip. Now, Miss Stacy has. Where, where, where did you buy all those books? Um, the library. At the library? They they're, had a book sale. They were selling them? But they're all like. I don't know, tell us about them. They're, they're like. From the, from, from the 80s? Yeah, pretty and, much. And they were super cheap, right? Oh, yeah, they're like 250 each, I think it was. Yeah, but they're. They're like Jeep Roads of Colorado, uh, Pass Roads of Colorado, uh, Ghost Towns of Colorado. Yeah, they're like things that are never gonna change. It doesn't matter that that was 30 years ago. Like Right. And then a really cool, uh, old style, very detailed, 1980, what was, what was the map? It was like just a Colorado map, actually. Oh, it's a Colorado map, but yeah. what, what year is it? 1980. 1980. It's older than we are. So yeah, it's, it's older than both of us. <laughs> um, not much older than me, a little bit older than Miss Stacy. Or, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No unlicensed off road vehicles. This is why we dual sport. But, yeah. Uh, so, you know, you read a little bit about it. Uh, you want to say what you know? Not a lot. It was a railroad or a mail. Mining town. I think. Yeah. It was the one that said that it was like one of the worst in Colorado. It was, it was one of the worst, like the, the most yeah, raucous. Yeah, yeah. They just had it was like 90% male, so right. It turned into like bachelor land with. Right. Well, they called them dance halls, and saloons, right. and houses of ill repute, but we all know what they are. It's all about the the whiskey, the women, and the cigars, apparently. Um, Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, supposedly it had at its peak, what did it say, like 2,100 people or? Something like that, yeah. It's something low. At its peak, 2,100 people. And you got to figure, at that point, it was like middle of nowhere. But it burned down. The business district burned down, yeah, right? Yeah, two blocks of it, which back then I'm assuming is most of town. Right. Burned down and the postmaster saved the mail, but everybody gave him crap for not saving the whiskey and cigars. Now, was, now I, I want to make sure we're not giving bad information. Was that St. Elmo or is that Tin Cup? Ah, no, that was St. Elmo. St. Elmo was St. Elmo? Okay. Because I thought it was Tin Cup where they killed seven sheriffs. Yes, yeah. that was so Tin Cup. Yeah. It was totally awesome last night. Miss Stacy was, uh, was reading me bedtime stories about Colorado ghost towns. <laughs> but yeah, those books are like chock full of really uh, interesting information. I think I'm actually gonna have to pick one up and read it while I'm, uh, you know, while I'm not trying to look for a trail. It's be cool, just cool stuff to know. We read a lot about uh, Taylor Park as well. And how, what was his name, John or Jim Taylor? Yeah, something, Jim. Uh, hey, James Taylor. What was it? <laughs> I don't know. All right, whatever. It's John, I think it was a J, J name, Taylor. 
uh, how he was, getting, was getting like followed by people in one of the nearby camps and was trying to get back into Taylor Park, but couldn't really do it. Uh, so they had to go out all the way down to Salida and uh, back in another way because they had like people full time watching them and just all kinds of crazy stuff. And they didn't say why they were watching them. Yeah, it just said that there was a mob watching them. Right, but they didn't. They didn't say. They didn't give any reason as to why. But all kinds of interesting information like that in those books. Oh, oh! You know what I forgot to put on? I was actually gonna wear them. My, my booty shorts. Oh, I got mine on. They my, saved my, me yesterday. My baboon booty shorts didn't make it. Speed limit is 15 miles an hour, and this is open to OHV from here on. That would explain this. <laughs> right. Bunch of KTM boys. Oh wow, look at the aspens. Yeah. Yeehaw. Gorgeous. Wow, these mountains are, it's just, they just never end. So apparently, uh, somebody saw us while we were riding yesterday, but didn't even notice, or you know, it didn't sink in that it was us, but uh, later commented on the pictures that we had, uh, that we posted from yesterday's ride. And who was it? It was like Richard, uh, who was it? I have no idea. I don't know, I think it was Richard. But that's kind of funny. I always like it when we get spotted on the trails. We've never had somebody like stop us and be like, see this? Well, they said they tried to chase us in Moab. Yeah, they tried to chase us, but they were on street bikes. And we were going off road. It was something, all right, so it was a Ural, was what I was thinking of, the, the all-wheel drive things with the sidecar. But I don't think that was a Ural. No. No, I think it's one of those detachable sidecars. Yeah, they're like old, I think they're Russian uh, military motorcycles. And they're... Of course. They, they may be three-wheel drive, but they might, I think they're only two-wheel drive. Um, but still cool as hell. And I've seen them go through some mud, like, uh, you know, crazy spots. But people, uh, I always see people in Ibar asking if they should get them as off-road bikes. And people are like, eh, they're, they're not wide. really that good. They'd probably be <laughs> awesome if they weren't, like, eight, you know, 50 inches wide. Like. Right. Well, also, they're Russian, cheaply made and uh, probably weigh a million tons. Hey, just because they were drunk on their own vodka when they made them doesn't mean that they're crap. Well, if I had my own vodka, I'd be drunk on it too. I don't know, man. <coughs> you gotta be careful with vodka. Yeah, go blind. go blind. That potato vodka. Make yourself go blind. I really like vodka, though. Vodka is good. Everybody I, I, wants to I drive on our side waves. of the road today. Like, I, I think the reason that I like vodka is because you mix it with stuff that makes it not taste like vodka. Oh, yeah, you don't drink it straight. Like, just drinking, it, doing shots of vodka, which obviously I've done, is just kind of nasty. Unless it's fruit loop vodka, because that's well, yeah, awesome. Well, I mean, yeah, unless it's some of the girly vodka. You say that like you don't like it, come on now. I, you know, it's just, it's sweet liquor. You drink, you drink a couple of shots of it, you get a nasty sugar hangover the next morning. Says the guy who drinks Mountain Dew and Red Bull, like, from the gallon. Yeah, but you don't get drunk, so therefore you don't have a hangover. Ha ha. CDS win. It has just been gorgeous fall colors out here the whole time. <laughs> so, funny story. We were, uh driving in and we were looking for a place to park. There's my house. Oh uh, yeah. Oh dude. Yeah. How nice of them to put our house in right here. Huh. There yeah, right by the river and everything. Um oh 
we have. We were driving in looking for a place to park and there was just nothing, 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 nothing. Then we found this open field, which turned out to be like a bed of silt. So after we got everything covered in silt getting changed and unloaded, we started riding down and from where you guys have seen, there have been tons of nice shady, <laughs> all dirt parking spots. But while we were doing it, I was, I was joking with Miss Stacy and I said, you know a mile down this road that there's gonna be like perfect places to unload. <laughs> and there were. We had already driven like 35 miles looking for a place to unload. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we had <laughs> driven far back in, up in here. But wow. Just down in this valley, it's just beautiful. So, you were telling me that's Mount Princeton off to the right? Yeah. Okay. So, where we are is we're in the Collegiate Peaks. They go like this along that way and that way, if you guys can see where I'm pointing. Um, so, we're basically just running right through one of the valleys between the Collegiate Peaks. And uh, how many of them are there, Miss Stacy? Do you know? I don't know. They're just named for, a lot of them are named for, uh, for colleges. University, yeah. Right, but there's a ton of them all in a row. Uh, and then directly behind us is Four Mile North, which is uh, OHV area out of Buena Vista, uh, which we did videos in a long, long time ago. Uh, did we? But, huh? Did we actually make videos there? Yeah, yeah. I told the story of Jocelyn getting uh, Jocelyn and Joe riding their tube all the way down the river, <laughs> being the only ones that didn't pop until right at the moment we were looking for them. <laughs> their tube popped and we were there to rescue them, like perfect timing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we made some videos up there and I took some pictures too. That was back when I was still wearing jeans and combat boots riding. Combat boots. That's how you start those sport riding. That's <laughs> how a lot of people continue. Those yeah, it's true. Very, very true. Or you could be that dude yesterday where riding his Harley with khakis on and a oh, cigar yeah. hanging out of his mouth. Dude, he totally looked like freaking Scarface. Oh, so here's like the main OHV parking, I guess. Alpine Tunnel Trail, five miles. Oh, cool. We did that. The other side. This will be the other side. I guess so. Cool. Yeah, we might need to do that one. Yeah, that's 295, so that's the one that's going to take you into... Uh... Pitco. No. Bromley, is it? Oh. Oh, wow. Are we here? Uh-huh. We are here. National Historic District. It said you might need to use your brakes because you just come up on it. Like, yeah, right you just now. come flying right up on it. Holy cow. <laughs> Tension snowmobile airs. Blah, 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 blah. Tons of people. Wow. So this is all original and has not been preserved. All right. Stop. Yeah. Pedestrian crossing that nobody's at. Right there are no pedestrians. Oh, how cool. How? <laughs> so it is like preserved. No, they said, it actually said that um, the original ones had the big false fronts and stuff. Oh. Nice. Yep, there's like people like living here. Tin Cup Pass, six miles. Yep. How freaking cool. This is cool. Huh. All privately owned, stay on streets. Post office. So there's the guy. There's the guy that got in trouble for saving the mail, not the whiskey. So we're gonna have to actually walk. Looks like it. 1881. <sighs> 
Dan Clark. 1880. Russell These are actually Ford. older than you, Jeff. Har har. Miss Stacy. They're over a hundred years older than you. <laughs> That's just a little bit. Outhouse. Yeah. See, looks like somebody lives in this one. There's like 1880. Firewood and I like this one. Yeah, this one is cool. Yeah, dude, somebody lives in that one. This one is sweet. Eighteen eighty two, there you go. Maybe this is what burned. Eighteen eighty two. This is a good year. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, St. Elmo. We'll pick you guys up. I think we might be going to do the uh, Alpine Tunnel. Maybe. The other side. Uh, if you want to see the Alpine Tunnel from Taylor Park side, uh, you can check out that video. Well, we had an audio fail on that Taylor Park trip. But it's in, uh, I think it's called Moto Zen. You can check out that the video from up there. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.